So you are presenting, or you're playing Selena and you're presenting her songs. And I know you've said there's like a lot of pressure and everything. So I want to know how you prepared to like present those songs. Like, were you learning breath work? Were you watching like endless hours of tapes? You have to make sure you got the performance just right. So how did you do it? Endless hours of tapes, um, so many photos, just as much research as I could. Her, her style on stage changed so much throughout her career. Her career started so much earlier than I think a lot of people think. Our first season is so focused on that in her growth as like a young woman, but as a performer. And, um, you know, she didn't always move in the, the flamenco style movements that we know Selena um, to have had. She, that was, she found that, you know, she was inspired by so many people and um, I had to, I really wanted to focus on, you know, when she was younger, she didn't kind of jive so much on stage. And then, you know, as she became a teenager, she was really into like the, like the eighties music and movements and hip hop and, and that jazzy movements. And then, and then it became kind of the icon that, that we know. So I just really tried as much as I could to study like all of Selena's material. Do you have, do you have a track that like you built up an appreciation for over time where you were like, this is it, this is my jam? Um, all of them. I grew up listening to Selena. So I've like gone through my phases of different Selena songs. Um, but though, as I grew up, I think I became more attracted to like the powerful songs like Ikeria since you and I, and you know, I worked with um, two vocal coaches for this and just to, you know, cause I'm, I'm lip syncing, of course, to Selena. It should be Selena's voice. That is what fans want to hear is Selena. Um, but I'm singing on stage just so it doesn't look like I'm lip syncing. And I wanted everything to be correct. Like the way she moves her mouth and the way she holds her mic and how closely the mic is to her mouth. And, um, and you know, I think it's that attention to detail that fans are really going to appreciate. You know, you've embodied Selena for a bit now. And while you never met her and you weren't her family, like, where do you think think she do you have a thought about like where she might be now had we not lost her so early like where do you think Selena would would she have taken over the world yeah she would have she you know some people are just born with it and I really think that she was born with it she was meant to be a star there was something so special about her but she also accomplished so much at such a young age and in a very weird time for somebody who was diverse and she really you know was a pioneer in terms of like her artistry, like she wasn't just a singer and a performer and an incredible dancer and her own choreographer and creative director, but she was in fashion and was her own stylist and seamstress and makeup artist and all of these things. She wanted English music and Spanish music and she wanted, um, you know, Mexican influence in her music, but also, you know, different styles of music within that genre in and of itself. So, you know, she was really a pioneer and I think for her to have done all of that by the time she was in her early 20s like there's no saying what she would have done yes it makes me feel awful about myself <laughs> and about, it's like what the hell was I doing uh, um, right. last question this show was mostly shot in Mexico was helmed by a Latinx producer among other people with a crew that largely spoke Spanish featured a cast that's mostly people of color what does it mean to you as an actor that identifies as Mexican-American and like what did that how did that set feel different from other ones yeah, this, this one feels, I'm really proud of this because not only am I a huge Selena fan, but I am also Mexican American. I also started in the entertainment industry when I was really young and had to find and make a place for myself in the same way that she and they did. Um, and it made me so happy to go back to Mexico where my grandparents are from and film there with an entirely Mexican crew and people who looked like me and spoke like me and joked like me and had the same upbringing as me like you well, like what a great experience this will probably be one of my favorite um, set experiences for that reason alone.